Thanks, Matt. We're joined today by Mike Poland, who is the scientist in charge for the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. Hi. So um, we're going to talk a little bit about Steamboat Geyser uh -huh. because it's at 31 eruptions for this year. Mm -hmm. Last year it set an all-time record of 32. Right. <laughs> And we may hit 32 here pretty soon, right? Yeah, uh, it seems like this month we might hit 32, given that the you know time frame seems to be erupting every few days to a couple of weeks. So yeah, August looks like the month that we'll hit that. How certain are we about that? Well, that's the, the inherent unpredictability of geysers. Uh, sometimes they just go back to sleep with no warning. So it's entirely possible that Steamboat won't erupt again uh, this year. That seems a bit unlikely. It's been you know, pretty active for the last year and a half, but uh, we really can't say. So if we hit 32 here within, say, the next 10 days, mm -hmm. 12 days, something like that, and then keep right on going and start to hit, you know, like, <laughs> or up to maybe 35 or 40 even sure. by the end of the year, what does that tell us? Not that much in general. The geysers do this. They sort of wake up and then they go back to sleep. And they wake up and go back to sleep. Giant geyser near Old Faithful is another good example of that. So it just tells us we're in one of the more active phases that uh, we've ever seen for, for Steamboat. And of course, our, our time period of, of knowledge doesn't go back that far. You know, we've only really seen Yellowstone for a couple hundred years. So this is sort of what geysers do. Do we have any hints at all about prediction levels on this? I mean, do we see anything happening that, that gives us a clue? Well, there's some interesting seismic data that's been collected by scientists from the University of Utah and the National Park Service that suggests there might be some strange kind of seismic hums, of you, not anything that would be felt, but some sort of background uh, level of, of sort of shaking that might indicate that Steamboat is about to erupt. Um, and that's something that they've discovered by looking at data they collected last year. They were out again in June and July collecting data um, to see whether or not that same signal might be there this year. So hopefully we'll learn quite a lot from these seismic deployments that they're doing. So Mike, you're here to look at something else as well, right? Yeah, so we'll be looking at a thermal area. This is a thermal area that was discovered by a satellite uh, that has developed over the last 15 or 20 years or so. So we're going to be going out into the back country to look at that, to map it, to see whether or not there's any gas or fluid emissions that should be sampled to, to better understand it. And we're also going to be looking at some equipment, doing some regular maintenance uh, at some other areas in the park. So Yellowstone's changing all the time. It is. That's the, that's the name of the game in Yellowstone. It's a dynamic place. All right. Well, Michael <laughs> Poland from the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you. Chet?